Dreamhouse Bio Digesters, just a quick update on some of the works that we have been doing in the last few weeks. And there's this particular bio digester that we have done for a restaurant right here in Accra. Jowulu, to be precise, called the Perfect Touch Restaurant. It's a very famous one. They had a problem with the traditional septic system that they were using, which is the manhole, it was getting filled up quite quickly and they had to dislodge it almost every week. So when they approached us, we went to the site. I mean, we went to the place, had a few inspections done, and then made a recommendation, met the owners, the managers, and they recommended to them what must be done. Included in this recommendation is what I'm also going to let you know so that you can also consider for any property that you have that will be having a lot of users capacity, high usage rate, you might also have to consider it. Also, if you are having a water club place, like your, your compound is water club, you can also consider this type of solution for biodigester construction. The solution is simple. Get the soak away done and then add a pump, submissive pump to it, which means that you will do your soak away and then you will have a pump that will be attached to the soak away, traditional soak away. Either you sew the bottom completely, do filtration in it, and then have the pump added to the bio digester. So that the wastewater, whenever it goes there, it can be taken up. When you reach a certain level, you can pump it up either into a bigger drainage or whatever option that you do have on your property. So there's something basically that we did for this place. We did a commercial size bio digester for them. I mean, considering the users, we're looking at 80 people, the daily usage of 80 people, those who are coming in and out of the restaurant, and of course the workers who work there. And then they had a few other stores or shops that are also line up in the apartment in particular. So we considered this digester for them. And we got this in a stock away. Knowing that the stock away is going to be the one that will have a pump in it. And then it will be pumped into a bigger um soak away or septic system then we don't do actually need a big a big soak away so we consider the four by four soak away so the bottom this infiltration in it add a charcoal in it so that the sense the smell that probably will be coming will be taken out of the water then the plumber put the pump on it and the pump is what is going to do the magic when the water comes from the digester it goes into the soak away reaches a level especially the leche pipes level and then it's triggered by a power and then the pump will do its work and have the water pumped out. Yes. Mm -hmm. So basically what he's trying to explain is that this is what triggers the water or the wastewater to be pumped out of the sukawi or wherever this pump has been installed. The usual pump that people use is that this one is a submissive one. So when the water gets to a level, it will be triggered by this particular thing that you're seeing. And then the water will be pumped out to the place that you intend it to be pumped to. And the options are that it can be into your garden, it can be into a, a bigger drainage. It can even be into a gutter or whatever option that you do have available to you on your site. Mm, it's a machine that pump into And the way they are, they never come. Okay. So you can also do the body digester like this and then leave a small chamber for filtration purposes, which means that the pipe will come all the way out and then the outlet can be given to it either into a soak away or into a drainage. Then this place just becomes your filtration chamber just for you. On this channel, we do videos that explains how biodigesters work and how as a homeowner, you can use it as an option in managing the solid waste as well as managing your human waste which includes the black water treatment. You can also subscribe to the channel and be part of a growing community of biodigester lovers right here who are trying to change the mindset of people who have been using the traditional means of managing toilet.
to a more modern, sustainable, and environmentally friendly means of human waste management. The next video showing on the channel will explain to you exactly how to go about this.